we have this login page which is actually created by using server behaviors and we use user authentication login user just under the same user authentication we have restrict access and logout user so it's literally a simple option but this should go to the web page which is visible once you log in so in our case once we log in we actually redirect users to this page which is welcome.php right in this welcome.php somewhere here at the top i'm creating a link for logout all you do is make sure the cursor is there then you go to the server behaviors and from the list go to user authentication select logout user it will simply ask you uh, log out when two options either once the page is loaded or simply when the link is clicked so i think the best is link is clicked okay create a new link log out so dream viewer will create that link as well for you just select that option and redirect that once you log out where to go is you simply browse and select send them the user back to login page just say okay and dreamweaver adds a logout link for you save it let me just check my login page and let me just use one of the values James, James123, login. So that's my new welcome page, and that's the link added by Dreamweaver. So once you click on logout, it ends your session of logged in. Otherwise, your ID password will still stay there active. So with this logout, simply go back to normal. Straightforward link for logouts. With the same recording, I want to show you a further thing on databases for the website which you are designing now, a music website for your project. I've given you a project folder, music project. In the music project folder, there is this music SQL file. Now it just looks like a normal text file. So if I just show you this text file, this is all the information it has. It's actually the comma separated values for each value inside the database. Now the project you're gonna create, it doesn't have any registration form requirement, okay? So if you want to do search form where the search will search for some of the music albums or some of the artists, you should have the record of those people in your database already. Now we are helping you by giving you ready-made database of some music artist with their music band name and with their songs and so on. Okay. You just have to import this database in your MySQL and you can use it as your website's backend. Now, if you want to import database, we have seen that in MS Access. In MySQL, it is far more easier than even MS Access. Okay. All you have to do is as long as you have any database created, now for a while, I've got this database created, 1065 eShop. In this database, let me just import that SQL file, okay? Or you can simply go back to even a home page. Uh, sorry, eShop. And we can simply click on the import link. Now, when you click on the import link, it simply asks you, what do you want to import? So you can select the options that the format I want to import is actually the SQL file. Okay. If I'll give, give you a database in a CSV file, you should select CSV file here. But the file which I've gave you is actually SQL file. Okay. So to import this file, you simply go to your files, select SQL as a format, uh, browse your file from your computer. So simply browse your 
uh, file from the projects folder. Keep the character sets as it is. Number of rows to skip. We don't want to skip any row, so just keep that as well as an ideal value. Uh, and that's it. Do not use any auto increment for zero values because it starts from one. So you want to keep that as a default and simply say go. Yeah. Import has been successful. 11 queries executed. And do you see on the left hand side? It has actually created a new table for you called music. Now this table is actually created because of the SQL value which we have in text format. So if I just go back to normal and click on the table, do you see that? What you see here now is a full database. With IDs, title of the music, artist name, type, music type, it's a rating, price, image name, and so on. So a ready-made database with ready-made values for you. When I want to do the search fields, which I'm going to teach you now on Wednesday, you will require a ready-made database. Because when we apply search, you can search your website for show me all the albums whose type is jazz. So you will see the page showing only the jazz album records and so on. That's why we're giving you this uh, as a ready-made tool. Now, those who are going to do their own projects, you will have to create your own database as well. So you have to decide whether you want to go with that route or not. There you go. So we got the lockout session and importing table in MySQL.